TotalTeamRoping.com. So he never knew there was a corner. So then when he roped, go ahead, do it again. Rope one more, back to here. So just like little things like that, we can see it was great, but let's say, all right, you gotta show more of a, he's gotta see, he's gotta understand more of a corner. And more, and, and a little more deliberate to where you can make sure that you follow through. <clears throat> But what I'm, what I'm looking for when I rope this dummy is to try to learn to throw the perfect loop to get your curl to come up over the sear's back. That's what's going to help keep the loop on. Okay, okay. go ahead. Show us a couple more loops. Let's... Now I'm going to show you two things that, that he did wrong here. One thing he did do good is he was in time with the steer when he threw, but he he did not he was too close and he didn't set his throw up and a lot of times your position going down the arena dictates what your position is going to be when you take a bunch of runs with uh with jake and charles and myself and things just aren't going to be quite as good when you're when you're roping with a beginner hitter and so we wanted to see how he would do with that and on this particular run he did a really good job tom had to fish it on him and and typically when that happens the steer is going to handle a lot faster because you don't get the leverage on his head and so we'd been really harping on him about going till he knew he could heal the steer. So that the steer got a little bit wild, he's a little fast, but he kept following him till he picked his Total